Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, my producer has alerted me to the existence of the winery dogs. Um, I obviously know the constituent members of this brilliant band, um, but I haven't heard a note of the music, so I'm really excited to do that. Um, they've got a song called Xanadu that came out on the 9th of December. I'm going to listen to it now and tell you what I think. <laughs> In no uncertain terms, Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Again. Okay, so a little bit about the winery dogs first. Um, they are a rock super group and they formed in 2012 by Richie Cotson, Billy Sheehan, and Mike Portnoy. Now, Mike Portnoy is a brilliant drummer, everyone knows who that is. Billy Sheehan, amazing bass player. I think he used to be in uh, David Lee Roth's band actually. So you know he's good. Um, and he used to play with Steve, Steve oh, maybe Steve Vai and, yeah, maybe he's, I don't know. Anyway, whenever Steve Vai is playing, you can always imagine that Billy Sheehan's doing the bass next to him. Um, and Richie Codson, who's the singer and the guitarist. Now, I've never actually heard this guy play, but I know he must be good because I used to play a, a Cornford amplifier. And uh, it was the Cornford RK3000 or, you know, some numbers after the, those initials. And the initials were Rich, Richie Codson. So that was kind of his... Um, signature amp that I used to have and it was a great amp so I can only imagine that he's a great guitar player um, he's also the singer so singer Richie Cotson is known as a former member of bands Poison and Mr Big I didn't know he was in Poison I thought that was that CC bloke going doo 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 fiddly diddly dee dee that's not it fiddly dee dee fiddly diddly dee dee fiddly dee that one um I thought that was CC something or other. Anyway, shows what I know. Okay, so when asked about the band's main influences, Mike Portnoy commented that, that they are working towards a classic rock sound influenced by Led Zeppelin, Love Them, Cream, Yep, Jimi Hendrix, Give Me More of That, Grand Funk Railroad, Amazing, as well as newer artists such as Soundgarden, Brilliant, Alice in Chains, Brilliant, Black Crows, Brilliant, and Lenny Kravitz, Brilliant. Um, the Winery Dogs also have a band clinic in the summer called Dog Camp. Now, that's not the same thing as... Um, what you might imagine it to be if uh, you grew up where I grew up and where there was a dogging site. That dogging is a totally different thing, I think. This, this, this camp allows musicians and fans to come and meet, jam and learn from the band. Oh, that sounds cool, actually. Not only does it include individual clinics, but it also incorporates a band setting as well. So I suppose they can build a um, power trio from the constituent people who are attending the camp. Dog camp, eh? Should we all go? What do you think? Use the comments section below. Let's go. Dog camp. <laughs> Imagine if people go there and then they've sort of mis misunderstood what it is and then they've brought all their pets and they're just they're, they're submitting their pets for the summer so that they can go off and have holidays and things and go to restaurants. <laughs> Imagine if that happened. <laughs> can you imagine? Because <laughs> of all the dogs that will be there, wouldn't they, with the um, with the ear defenders on because the music's too too loud and they'd be like, oh, what's all this? <laughs> Tails wagging, but also a little bit nervous, you know. <laughs> if the dogs went there by accident <laughs> okay so um, right let's watch the video <laughs> God. how can you play that stuff and just have that serene expression on your face I mean, I know I will have that serene expression when I'm completely full of Botox and fillers and stuff, but this is a, a natural face, not, not, not pumped with all these uh, toxins and, you know, what's the other stuff they put in there? Some fat that they've taken from his, his side. They haven't taken the, the fat from his side and put it in his face. That's not what's happening. He's just serene. I think what we're looking at here is a man in his happy place. <laughs> How tall is Billy Sheehan? Like a hundred foot or something? What? Split harmonic on the bass? <laughs> I mean, first of all, how? And then second of all, why? It's brilliant. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is ridiculous. You don't often hear that sort of uh, virtuosity in a song that's this groovy. Normally, that like the groovy stuff is a bit easier to play, but this stuff's like, but still groovy. I don't know how they're doing it. Anyone else hearing a bit of uh, Chris Cornell in his voice? How much? 
How many rings has he got? On? I can't play. I can't play with rings on my right hand. I don't know how he's doing it. Maybe all of his rings have got like little brackets to hold plectrums as well, so you can do that all really fast stuff. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? <clears throat> In fact, just all one one ring around there with one, one plectrum on it that spins around really fast. <laughs> I don't think that's what he's doing. I reckon he's just wearing it for the video. I don't know though. I'm inspiration. Money, baby. Yeah, he's got some range as well. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. He won't. This is the best bit. Like, so this is another bit where it could do with like a little English bit of counter rapping. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Finally, dogs and they're wagging their tails up on a cliff. Oh, forget about it. He's got the billowing shirt and he's on a cliff. I told you. I blooming told you. You don't often think of when you picture a billowing shirt, though. You normally think of a white one, don't you? Because it's sort of a bit more, I don't know, poetic somehow. But this is like um, dark poetry. He's wearing a dark billowing shirt on a cliff top. Did he just say maybe I'm Justin? <laughs> yeah, it might be. I don't think I was. No. It's n oh. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm Justin. Yeah. Maybe I am Justin. Oh God, that's. Maybe I'm Justin. Maybe. Oh, loud, 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 down. It was a sneaky uh, Hendrixism there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's a really good hybrid player, isn't he? That's really awesome. That, that sort of guitar playing you only ever really hear on strats. Um, it doesn't sort of have the same. I don't know, it's not as abrasive as a, as a Les Paul. Um, it's smooth as anything. I don't know, I'm, I'm dying to know which pickup setting he's using there. Not, not that I'm going to copy it or anything, just, just want to know. Because, you know, because you guys deserve to know. Never like all that bitch stuff. It always just, oh, just gets me. Do you know what I mean? It's a such a horrible word uh, unless you yeah no, i know there's no nice connotation for it in this context i mean obviously i love all dogs female and male because <laughs> that's we're back on the dogs again aren't we <laughs> whoa he saved the f word to, he dropped an f bomb at the end did you hear that that's the bit that everyone's going to love in live when they shout the the f word. I'm not going to do it because, uh, well, you've come to expect better from me. There's a lot of great kids out there. The bass and the guitar are harmonising. And then there's a third one as well. What I loved about um, Rich Richie Cotson's solo in this is that like the, all of the sort of other accompaniment, the rhythm guitar playing just completely stopped and it was him, the drums and the bass. And that reminded me a little bit of when, um, you know, on the uh, Van Halen records, you know, there's, you can just hear the solo and, and the, what the bass is doing is, is enough of a sort of harmonic accompaniment for it to, to sail and really hit you in the face. But here, there's an extra guitar. There's some definitely some overdubs happening. So there's at least two guitars and a bass happening there. Yeah, guys. All right, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, definitely in the sort of um, how can you put that? The, what would you describe that as? The, the legacy rock era, R legacy rock genre, I suppose. But the thing about it that's great is that it's the best players we have <laughs> and have had for some time just really doing something groovy. So it has all that stuff, has all the sort of fiddly bits and you can dance along to it and there's a swear word at the end. What more do you want, guys? I'd put it to you. What more could you ask for? It's all there. Three elite musicians. Oh, brilliant. Justin Hawkins rides again. Did 
Did you hear my sneaky little nod towards old Hendrix there? <laughs> Two can play that game, mate. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Notifications. And watch one of these two videos. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>